Which one of the following is characteristic of nifedipine treatment in patients with essential hypertension? Option A. Decreases calcium efflux from skeletal muscle. B. Competitively blocks angiotensin 2. C. Decreases calcium influx into smooth muscle. D. Increases calcium excretion in the urine. E. Both B and C. Calcium channel blockers, CCBs for short or calcium entry blockers are vasodilators, or medications that promote dilation of blood vessels. Calcium channel blockers block voltage-gated L-type calcium channels, the calcium channels most important in cardiac and smooth muscle, and reduce intracellular calcium concentration by inhibiting the calcium influx into the cells, and thereby reduces muscle contractility. We can divide calcium channel blockers into dihydropyridines and non-dihydropyridines. Dihydropyridines include medications that end with the suffix depine, like nifedipine, nicardipine, amlodipine, and nimodipine. These medications act mainly on the smooth muscles of the blood vessels. Non-dihydropyridines include verapamil and diltiazem, which both have a greater effect on the heart compared to dihydropyridines. Dihydropyridine calcium channel blockers are mainly used to treat hypertension. They preferentially exert their effects on arterial smooth muscle, and nifedipine is the prototype of this class. Besides treating hypertension, dihydropyridines are also commonly used to treat other disorders. Since they can also dilate coronary arteries, they are effective for preventing angina. They can treat Raynaud phenomenon, a disease caused by vasoconstriction of the arteries in the tips of fingers, causing them to turn white, then blue, and finally red. Lastly, they are used to prevent cerebral vasospasms after a subarachnoid hemorrhage. For side effects, dihydropyridines cause reflex tachycardia. Vasodilation is also responsible for the side effects of dihydropyridines, like flushing, dizziness, and peripheral edema. Another side effect is gingival hyperplasia, but the cause is still unclear. On the other hand, non-dihydropyridine calcium channel blockers such as verapamil and diltiazem are highly selective towards the heart and are classified as class 4 antiarrhythmics. Therefore the answer is option C. If you find this video helpful, share it with others who may find it helpful too. Subscribe Medbook for more videos like this and thanks for watching.